Hello viewers, welcome back to the Moose Mobile Auto Repair Channel. And so today I'm making another oil filter comparison video. Now there are some oil filters that I have purchased somewhat recently and the and the other ones I, I've had stored on the shelf for quite some time and so i'm not able to, to give the the prices for each one because there are some oil filters i haven't used in a, a very long time so i just decided to make a video out of them so anyhow we have a, a total of six oil filters here on the table and so we are just going to be comparing them uh, the first two over here, the OE Plus Pro Series and the Hastings, uh, these are the same part numbers. The interchange part number is, is 4386. This one says PRS 4386. It's the same as this. So it's the same exact uh, filter for those specific vehicles so these ones are going to be the same exact height and uh, dimensions and the other ones are completely different so the first thing we are going to do is uh we are going to weigh each one and then uh, we are going to open up each filter and just discuss about the quality differences and then later I'm going to cut up the oil filter and, the, and just show you on what's inside. So the first two, I'm going to weigh them on the scale. This is in grams. So this is uh, the Pro Series, OE Plus Pro Series. It's the in-house brand from uh, the Part Source store. It's uh, affiliated with... Uh, Canadian Tire in Canada and so uh, this one weighs 216 grams so we're gonna put this uh, the Hastings oil filter this is the same as the uh, the Baldwin oil filters Hastings and Baldwin they're the the same exact uh, company so this one weighs 226 grams so this one is a, a little bit heavier than the than the OE plus so uh, 224 grams I pressed a tear on the scale so it's, it's gonna be a, there's gonna be like s slight variations so it's not gonna be a, a, a exact and so because I I cut them up they may weigh slightly less it will be a, a a negligible amount so this is 224 grams the other ones i'm not going to weigh because they are not the same part number but these two i will uh, 3682 this one is also 3682 so i'll weigh that uh, the pronto 260 grams 256 grams for the pronto oil filter the the protec i think uh, wicks they make the protec filters i think these are like the economy oil filters this one is 314 grams So now we are going to have a look at the, the OE Plus Pro Series PRS 4386. Now, uh, I believe that, that that Premium Guard or PGI, which is the same company that makes this oil filter. But I've also seen other oil filters. They look uh, exactly the same as the construction of this. So I'm not 100% sure. But I did a, a Google search 
to see on who makes this. So I think it's Premium Guard that uh, that makes this. They they call it the Extended Life uh, oil filter. So this one says uh, up to 99% uh, filtration uh, efficiency, and it says a uh, proven protection up to 24,000 kilometers service life when used with a full synthetic motor oil it says uh, up to 24,000 if you use synthetic oil but if you use uh, yeah synthetic oil this one says conventional oil filter with uh, up to uh, 8,000 kilometers 94% up to 94% uh, efficiency with the other oil filters. This is said Advantage Pro Series OE Plus. So this is this one. Uh, synthetic blend <laughs> media. <clears throat> says here durable steel shell, steel end caps. And it shows you the construction. Has the orange silicone anti drain back valve synthetic blend filter media pleats, high strength steel base plate, premium nitrile rubber gasket. It's made in uh, in Vietnam. Forget how much I paid for this. I think I paid roughly. Uh, I just got this recently. I think I paid close to to seven dollars Canadian, which is my cost. This is not the retail price. The real the retail price is uh is well above like ten or twelve dollars, somewhere around there. It's I think it's between twelve and fifteen dollars Canadian at the time of this video. So. It's going to vary on uh, on where you are located uh, uh, in Canada. This is only available in Canada because this is the in-house brand for uh, a part source. So I'll put the box there. So we are going to open this guy up. I, I cut these up off camera to save some time because I didn't want to, to bore you guys uh, on opening up the oil filter because... Uh, I don't know uh, if this video is going to be boring anyways, but I'm trying my best. This is the oil filter cutter tool that I use. If you guys uh, want to get one yourselves, I'll post the Amazon link in the description and, uh, and in the comments. And so I'm opening this up. It's a fairly good quality. Uh, can st steel can N I'm not going to weigh each one uh, individually I just weigh the uh, entire oil filter so it's a, a very good quality so far uh, the uh, the bypass valve uh, spring it's a decent heavy duty spring you don't need to, to to, to push too hard to compress the spring, but it has a, a tiny bit of uh, a little bit of, uh, of stiffness <laughs> to the spring. So that's going to push this open. We're going to push the, the bypass valve open. So this in here, I think this piece in here is, is plastic. So it's going to push this open. If, uh, if, if, if any time the oil filter is clogged up or uh, during a cold starts, uh, it needs to bypass the, uh, the, the, uh, the spring or the valve so that it can allow a, a oil flow. So this is how it looks. Like this, it's a, a fairly decent quality. It's a high quality oil filter. Uh, the one thing that I didn't like so much is that there's a bit, a little bit of the glue here, a little bit the excessive amounts of glue, but it's not, 
it's not uh, too bad compared to other oil filters. So I'm going to be cutting this up uh, shortly after and showing that. This one has a, a nice orangey silicone anti-drain back valve that uh, that sits like this. And then this is the base plate with the holes and everything in it. Uh, this one has a different kind of, uh, of silicone rubber gasket. It's a, a reddish color. It's a, a fairly decent quality uh, oil filter, but we are going to open it up after after we are done with with the oil filters here, and I'm going to show the the paper pleats and everything uh, inside it. <clears throat> so next one, uh, Hastings oil filters, LF four thirteen. This one uh, is made in the USA. So I, I think I talked about this one in one of the previous videos. So again, uh, this one is uh, it's fairly decent. The, the, the can itself, it's a, a very high quality oil filter. This one has a very heavy duty spring. It's very uh, difficult to compress the spring by hand. You have to use a considerable amount of force. And even then, I'm having a hard time trying to compress this. This is a very, very heavy duty spring for the bypass valve. This one has a, a metal type bypass valve when you try to push down on it. And I'm just using a screwdriver to, to demonstrate. So this one uh, is fairly decent, has excessive glue. There's glue that's a uh, that's leaking down here. So that's kind of contaminating the, the filter material. That's not good when they use excessive amounts of glue. So again, this one also has the, the steel end caps, just like the other one, the OE Plus. It's, it's fairly decent. You can't go wrong with these oil filters. Uh, this one has a heavy duty silicone anti drain back valve and just your just the base over here this one has the the typical black rubber gasket it's not easy to to take off by hand so got to use a pick to get this off Then you have the uh, the holes to 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 filter out the oil. Uh, unfiltered oil goes through here, and and filtered oil comes out of the big uh, hole or, or tube. So, so that's that for the Hastings oil filter. Next one is the, the Pure Later Tech, uh, part number 2222. This uh, bypass valve has like a different kind of uh, metallic spring that, that pushes against on the, the steel end caps over here. This has a plastic, I think it has like a plastic opening piece on the, the bypass valve itself. So 
just uses the standard type of the the paper pleats this is also a fairly good quality oil filter this is this is the the older design for the the pure later oil filter this is the older one i've had this oil filter <laughs> sitting on the shelf for for quite some time i never used this oil filter so I just decided to make a video out of it. So this is the old design. I'm gonna show you the, the newer design afterwards. This has the, the silicone, uh, in the anti-drain back valve. I believe all of them use silicone anti-drain back valves, if I'm not uh, mistaken. So that's that. And then you have the, the, the typical base plate and the rubber gasket. And this one has like a, the typical i i call it like a square lip gasket or something like that the other ones will have like a rounded type of of uh, the rubber gasket or their o-ring this one uh is not too bad with how they how they uh, secured down the the uh, the filter media pleats uh, i don't know i don't really see any excessive glue that's that's coming out of here some of the oil filters are just constructed very sloppy and so you will see sometimes you'll see excessive glue that's that is leaking around the the filter media now this is the the updated style purulator tech oil filter so it's it's relatively very similar to the to, to the older style but um they did do some design changes uh, they use a spring instead of the the metal piece type spring that they have on the i'll take this out just for comparison's sake so they changed uh, uh, quite a few things around here so instead of this, they use a, a metal type of spring. It's it's relatively easy to compress by hand, but still otherwise ha has some uh, stiffness to it. So we'll put that aside. And they have like a, a rubber type for the, the bypass valve on top. It's not like the plastic one on the other one. I think it's plastic or something. This, this one you... You push down on it. The filter media, I think it's a, it's a much better quality than the older one. This one looks a little bit different. I believe it's an improved style compared to the old style. So they both have the, the steel or the metal end caps on both. And I think that this one has a much uh, heavier duty and thicker silicone anti-drain back valve compared to the the old style. The old style is more very easily to to flex. It's very it's more thin and light. This one is uh, is very heavy duty and and very thick for the anti-drain back valve. The base plate is a little bit of a, a different uh, design uh, as well. The holes are different. And the gasket, they have a different type of gasket. This is the style that you typically see on most OEM uh, uh, oil filters. They have like a circular type I think they call it like a, a P type Hubber style gasket. So this this is a a lot better than this style gasket because they don't easily get stuck onto the engine. It stays onto the oil filter, and I believe they seal a lot better than than this style uh, oil filter. So the gasket is different. And the, the way they design the holes are also different. They're not the same. These ones are like oval shaped. These ones are more like circular or, or slightly oval. 
but the part numbers are not the same. They are different part numbers. So it's, it's, sometimes it can be hard to compare, but I know that the, the Purelator, they changed the design somewhat recently in the last uh, like uh, like few years or something. So this is what I've seen in, in, in recent times now. Because I no longer see <laughs> this style oil filters. So that's that for the, uh, the Purelator Tuck design oil filters. I'm going to put these away. Next one is uh, the Pronto. Pronto oil filter. I think this is an e economy style oil filter, but still is relatively okay. Uh, the steel can is is not <laughs> too bad. Uh, a little bit slightly more <laughs> flimsy <laughs> compared to the, the previous uh, four that we just had a look at now, this one is a very heavy duty spring so it's very difficult to compress for the uh the bypass valve so but although there's no opening here so now just having a look at the the filter pleat material it's it's very light so easy to rip when you try to to open it up with your fingers and they're not spread it out evenly like how the other ones are these ones have like some uh, curves to it but this oil filter has been sitting on the shelf for a very long time so but it hasn't been used so that's that and it has the the silicone anti-drain back valve and a, a standard base plate it has some uh, heavy weight to it so it's not too bad it's a uh, it's somewhat decent oil filter for an economy oil filter this one is made in usa uh, it said it's manufactured by hastings filters you can see it's a uh, it's faded out so this is the same company as Hastings Baldwin but I think this is the lower grade economy oil filter I'm just trying to see if it has anything like uh, on when to change it some oil filters will say directly the change at 5,000 kilometers or 8,000 kilometers so that's that for the, the Pronto. Now we have the, the Protec oil filter. Again, I think this is the economy style oil filter. It's, uh, it's not too bad. This is a, a fairly decent can. And this one says uh, quality approved. ISO 9001. Says uh, change filter every 5,000 kilometers. This is just your regular oil filter, economy oil filter. You, sh you should not go any more than 5,000 kilometers or 3,000 miles. This one has a bypass valve spring. It's uh, quite easy to compress, but it's, it's not too bad. It doesn't have an opening to push down on. Uh, the quality is all right. It's fairly decent construction. There's a, a lot of glue that's uh, uh, oozing out. So it's very sloppy on how they glue the, the steel end cap or the metal end cap on this, all this glue. And, and that's not good because sometimes that can contaminate the oil and stuff if I'm not uh, <laughs> mistaken. Looks pretty cheap in the inside for the cylindrical piece. Looks a little uh, flimsy from here. The material is is quite decent for an economy oil filter. And this one again has your your typical 
the silicone anti-drain back valve and the base plate has some weight to it uh -huh. square type the standard type of the the rubber gasket on the base plate so, so that's that so i'm just gonna go off camera and then uh i'm, go I'm gonna try to, to cut open the oil filters <laughs> nicely this time because in my other videos uh, i did a sloppy job in o in trying to uh to cut open the uh the the plates so i'll try to do a nicer job try to cut them open and then we'll uh, uh come back so i'm just using the Milwaukee the the hand sozzle blade just to cut open the oil filters so I'm just in the process of opening this up. I just cut open the one side uh, only for now. So this is the OE Plus oil filter. So this is on, on how it looks like from the inside. So I say it's uh, it's pretty well uh, constructed. Uh, th this uh oil filter can go for quite some time uh, in the engine but uh, you know I don't really recommend going any more than 8,000 kilometers or 5,000 miles so I'm just gonna open this up I'm not going to be using a, a vernier caliper or anything like that to take the measurements just going to show you on camera f about the, the, the visual visual uh, uh, in, in, in inspection of the oil filter and that's it just gonna cut this down Need to be careful to not uh, to cut open myself. So it's pretty hard to open it up if you don't cut open uh, both ends of the oil filter. This is what the the filter. Uh, pleats uh, look like it's very high end uh, paper material. He said it's a, 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 a synthetic type of, of paper material, so it's uh, it's fairly thick. The, the cylindrical piece is uh, also fairly well constructed, uh, but easy to bend in some instances. Uh, they could have used a, a better uh, style or, or thickness of the, uh, the, the cylindrical piece. So this oil filter is, uh, is pretty well. This is a heavy duty. Uh, a paper material it's it's more it's not like uh i don't know how to explain it this is like more of like a solid paper material the other ones are like are more like softer softer like uh like a, a fiber type of material this one feels like like more paperish type so i don't know on how how that's going to uh, how is that's going to collect the uh, debris and dirt on here so but uh, you, you can't go wrong with this one this is a very high quality one just opening this up and they have a, a piece of metal here that, that closes up the uh, the oil filter opening it by hand so this 
not that easy to compress, but it's, it's fairly decent. So they designed this uh, diagonally across, I believe, because they they designed it like this for a, a centrifugal force. So it creates a uh, more efficiency for the fluid to uh, flow better. This one has an internal spring inside here for the <laughs> the bypass valve. So this uh, oil filter, I say, uh, is extremely well uh, constructed. It's a, it's a pretty good deal for the price. So I have a commercial account with this uh, parts company part source so they give me a better price on this so uh you, you definitely can, cannot go wrong with this oil filter so we're gonna open up the hastings now so we're gonna open up the hastings the uh the oe plus was uh a bit hard to open up because of the high quality paper pleats. This one is going through uh, quite easy with the Milwaukee a sozzle. I just I cut down just the one side because it's gonna be too much for me to to cut the other one down on the other side. This one is a slightly more thin than the the OE plus, but still it's it's relatively uh, a good quality uh, paper material that they use on this one. It's not uh, too bad. Just trying to open up the, uh, the end cap. I'm, I might not be able to open it up easily so without hurting myself. So I'm just, just trying to see the inside here and how they, they constructed it. But I know the 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 cylindrical piece here is uh, is more a heavy duty than than the other ones I've seen on the in the oil filters. So on this one, they use some type of uh, heavy duty glue to to stick the pleats and to glue the the steel end caps here. It's very difficult for me to open this by hand, so I'm just going to leave it uh, as is. I don't want to uh, to keep on uh, on fighting with this, so that's it for that. Now we're gonna open up the older style version of the uh, the pure later. The higher quality oil filters, the end caps, they are difficult to open up by hand. So you might need to use uh, some kind of tools to, to, to open them, them up. I don't want to make this video uh, too long, and it should. I'll open this up uh, on this one, the older style purulator. I noticed that it doesn't have the the steel sleeve to close the filter up like how they have on the other oil filters. So this one is also a fairly decent quality oil filter. They use like a heavy duty type of glue to glue the 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 pleats down and the end cap so that uh, 
it stays together. Uh, it's a, a fairly decent quality. It has a, a similar material like the Hastings one, but not uh, exactly. I'm just trying to open this one up. I'm just doing a visual inspection just so you guys can see and what's inside. So the steel end caps are easy to separate on these ones. Usually on the very, very high quality oil filters, it's going to be very difficult to, to separate the end cap. This one, easily to take it out by hand. But it's still, this is still a decent uh, oil filter. It's just your regular average oil filter. It's not like a, like a super premium oil filter. It's just like your economy or a regular oil filter. So... You should be okay to go 8,000 kilometers on these. It shouldn't be a problem. They uh, constructed it fairly well. There's no like anything sloppy about this. So this is the internal spring for the, the bypass valve. It's fairly decent uh, quality. And this one is more stiff than, than the, uh, the other one I was just having a look at. I think the OE one. The OE plus one has a, uh, a similar one, but this this one looks like it's a bit heavier duty in the internal bypass spring. They have an external and they have an internal bypass spring. So that's that for the old uh, purulator oil filter. And this is the, the cylindrical piece with the holes. They have very small uh, spaced out rectangular holes in, the, in groups of twos, I guess, going diagonally across. This is easy to compress by hand. So that's that for the old Purinator uh, oil filter. Now this is the newer designed Purinator oil filter. This one has the, the metal separator here to, uh, to close it up. So we're going to open this up now. Uh, it's opened up now. This is the newer design purulator. Very similar to the, somewhat similar to the OE plus one, which is a a thicker type of uh, of paper material. Fairly decent quality. Has a somewhat similar characteristics compared to the old one just a few design changes slight improvement uh, i noticed that they changed the the cylindrical piece compared to the old one the new one just has a cutouts a circular cutouts and they're not straight they're not running uh, parallel to each other they're slightly off it's not uh, it's not going diagonally across like how the old one is. So it's a completely different design from the new one compared to the old one. The old one. I'm not sure as to why they did that. So I'm just trying to separate now the the end caps, steel end caps. Still a uh, fairly decent construction. Uh, they use even a cheaper quality cylindrical piece inside. 
I'm not sure why. I don't really know if it's going to matter too much, but it's very different. A lot softer than the, than the old one. Through the bypass spring inside. Still a, a fairly decent oil filter. You, you really can't go wrong with any of these oil filters. It's just uh, up to you on uh, on what you want to put on your vehicle. Or you can just use the the, uh, the OEM stuff. It doesn't really matter. Now the Pronto one we're going to open now. And then the Protec, uh, the last one. We're going to open this one. This one uh, goes through quite easy with the knife I don't have any trouble opening this up this is the uh, economy oil filter I'll open this up I, I was able to separate this with hardly any effort uh, at all and it very easily uh, Easily to cut open with barely any effort. So this is definitely uh, a cheaper oil filter. And all this glue at the bottom, there's a whole bunch of glue. And uh, and, and whatever they use in here. I don't know on, uh, on what the name of it is. Uh, there's more glue than the, the paper pleats in here when they... I constructed it because it's very thick. That's that. You can rip this open easily by hand. The paper material is uh, is very thin compared to the other ones I've just uh, opened up. Just trying to, to separate this piece now by hand. I use a, a decent quality for the, the cylindrical piece. For the inside, so it's hard to hard to squeeze it by hand. So this is uh probably good for three thousand miles or five thousand kilometers uh, for this one. And then uh, the last one, the the ProTech oil filter. This one has a, it's a metal uh, a separator that, uh, that closes this up. This is not too bad of a filter. Decent, somewhat decent quality. But it's just your basic economy oil filter. Easy to, to separate the, uh, the, the end caps, steel end caps. A little bit sloppy with the the glue because it's oozing out here so a little bit sloppy but can't really talk too much about these oil filters because uh because really just doing a visual inspection just uh, analyzing on on how it, it looks like just having a look at the the quality control uh, of the, of these things. I'm gonna stop now because uh, there's uh, some sharp ends here, so I don't want to to cut myself. Uh, so the last two, these are like your e like economy oil filters, the the Protec uh, oil filters. So 
the ProTuck and the Pronto oil filters. They are just like your, your basic economy oil filters. Well, if you don't drive that much and you change your oil uh, 5,000 kilometers or 3,000 miles or less, then it, you might be fine using these oil filters. But for more of the extended uh, intervals, and if you're going 8,000 kilometers or 5,000 miles, uh, you're probably best to, to use these last four uh, oil filters. So one last thing I forgot to talk about here. You just have a look at the boxes here. This one was for the Hastings oil filter. So this one says, uh, doesn't really say much about the, the, uh, the filtering uh, capability on the box. But it said it's made in the USA. And uh, said by the, the Clark Core a company. So that's that. The Pure Later Tech, the old one, stated, uh, what does it say here? It says, this is also made in the USA. It says uh, the filtering capability here I read somewhere it said 96.5 percent dirt removal power meets a new car warranty requirements just says a uh, professional grade engine protection doesn't really say anything else there in terms of how many kilometers and then this is the the newer one it's relatively, I think it's the same. Just said rugged internal construction, wear resistant metal end caps and center tube. Again, 96.5% efficiency on the filter. Uh, the OE Plus said it was 99%, uh, and it says that most conventional oil filters will do 94%. I've also seen up to 95% on the regular economy conventional oil filters. The Pure Later Tech they can do 96.5% uh, efficiency. I'm not sure how they come up with those uh, numbers. Again, I'm I'm not an engineer, so I'm just doing a visual inspection and just discussing about this and, and judging based on my perspective on the quality that I'm seeing and workmanship of the, the, the construction of these oil filters. So now I have a huge mess on the table here. So I'm going to be cleaning it up at the end of this video so uh, if I want to uh, to grade the oil filters from from best to worst uh, I say I, I probably have this already uh, lined up as it should I, I rate this uh, number one oil filter OE plus you can't go wrong with this uh, pretty decent <laughs> filtering uh, capability in media uh, it states it can go for 24,000 kilometers. It's a very high quality oil filter. Uh, so I've already stated why it's good. So this is number one. Uh, Hastings is number two. Uh, the Purilator, <laughs> number three. Uh, Pronto is number four. And Protac is, is number five. So, so that's it uh, for this video. Uh, I hope you liked this one. If you did, please don't forget to give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day and take care.